small frequently is the new big. To me, this is what evangelism looks like for most churches. Am I wrong? Yes, sir. Okay. Does anybody disagree with that? This is a free forum. <laughs> you disagree with it, thank you. A lot, okay. That's what I want to see. To me, this is how I see most churches doing evangelism. And from a business, again, my background is business process. It's not repeatable, it's not predictable, it's not measurable, it's not trainable, it can't be automated because it requires an inordinate amount of manual time and resources. All right? So think about this. You have a t-shirt company. Which is the most expensive t-shirt to make? The first one. Because you have to set up all of this machinery, get it all tuned, and then one comes off, the next 10 million are easy, right? But that first one, that first one's tough. So basically what we do is we do evangelism, we wear ourselves out, we drain our budget, we drain our people, and then we go into hibernation for about 11 months. And then we repeat the process over again. I will say businesses that do this fail because you can't do that once a year. I think this is what evangelism can look like. So let's say we get somebody that signs up for the book, right? And we send an email out every Friday saying, hey, church is around the corner. Would you like to join us? How much extra effort does it cost to include that additional person in the email? Nothing. How much extra time does it take us? Nothing. This is scalable. You see what I'm saying? So every microevangelism opportunity that you do do builds on itself. So you do an evangelism outreach and you have 10 people. Then you invite the 10 people to the next one and you do another. I think the reason churches struggle with this is they don't know how to do it. And I think it's the biggest opportunity in evangelism that we've ever seen. I can sit at my computer and reach tens of thousands of people for like a couple hundred bucks. We've never had that opportunity.